Hi friend, welcome to Heal to Serve. I'm LaCountess Ingram. I'm very grateful for another day of life. I'm grateful to be here and I'm very grateful to have this opportunity to share with you. Friend, I know that this pandemic, COVID-19, it's been tough on us all. Many of us are sequestered in our homes. We're not able to show love and affection the way we're accustomed to our families. Our places of worship are still closed. Going to the grocery store is exhausting. And once when you do get there, the shelves aren't as full as they once were. And then on top of all of that, we see the continual proliferation of racism in the United States of America as we watched Mr. George Floyd's life ebb away right in front of our very eyes. We have the rioting, we have the protests, some are peaceful and others are not peaceful, the looting. Friend, it's a lot and my heart hurts, it hurts. And so when I see all of this and I, I'm sure you the same way. You want to know what can I do to make to to influence change in my area. I know for me in a very real and powerful way, I just desire to be light in this dark world. My desire and my heart throb is to please God with everything that I say and do. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am a voice of of healing, of encouragement, and reconciliation. And so when I ask God about where I fit in all of the, into all of this, I, I do believe that he would have me to share with you today that time is at hand, friend. He is soon to come. Jesus is soon to come. And with all of that being said, my message today is start with the vertical, get saved. I'm very excited about this message because I know the vertical has made all the difference in, in my life and how I relate to myself and to others. And I know that it can change you as well. So we're going to look at five meaty morsels. Just something for you to nibble on and allow it to nourish your soul. We're going to look at what is the vertical. Then we're going to look at you were created in love because I really feel it is necessary to just speak that into the hearts and minds of, of people everywhere that you were created in love. We're going to also look at the break in the vertical. We're going to look at the repair in the vertical and how you can reconnect your vertical. So friend, when I talk about the vertical, it's very simple. It is dealing with your vertical relationship with God the Father through Jesus Christ, his son. Friend, I believe that healing can and it will begin when our vertical relationship is intact. And as we strengthen our vertical relationship, with God, our horizontal relationships will become stronger and we will relate to people in a more loving, powerful, and dynamic way. I want you to know that you were created in love. I need to stop right here because many, young and old alike, wonder, am I valuable? They suffer, we suffer with low self-esteem you know, self-worth. Do I matter? Many of you may have asked that question and I'm here to tell you, yes, you matter and you are loved. Let's look at Genesis 126. And what I'm sharing with you, we're going to be looking specifically in Genesis chapters one through three. And what we'll find there is this. Genesis 1, 26 says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Friend, you were created in love. I was created in love. We were created in love. And the beauty is this. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit we're all 
together as one when man was created. And because God is love, we were created in love. That makes my heart so happy. And I want you to just meditate on that. My friend, you know, there was a break in the vertical. As we continue to read in Genesis 1, chapters 1 through 3, we will find that when man was created, his vertical relationship with God was already intact. You see, friend, God is a relational God, and his desire has been and will always be to have an up-close and personal relationship with you. So in the garden, he placed Adam and Eve, and he gave them some specific commands. And he told them that they were free to eat anything in the garden except from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. He said, for when you eat of it, you will surely die. You see, friend, the break in the vertical came when Adam and Eve entertained the serpent's deception and willfully disobeyed God's command. The devil from the beginning of time has always been one to deceive and to tell lies. The word tells us that he is the father of all lies. And so because of Adam and Eve's willful disobedience, sin and death entered the earth and man's vertical relationship with God was severed. And this consequence of the severed relationship with God was transferred to all humanity. Romans 3.10 tells us that no one is righteous, no, not one. And then when we read further down in Romans 3.23, it says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Oh, but friend, there is good news. And that good news is God, who is rich in mercy, grace, and love. He made a provision for the vertical, for that break in the vertical to be restored and repaired. Romans 6.23 tells us the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. You see, God proved his love for you and for me, for the entire world, in that while we were yet sinners, <laughs> Christ died for us. I get excited when I talk about, read about, and share the power of the cross. John 3.16, many of us have heard it, and we know it, a lot of us, by heart. It is such a powerful piece of scripture, and it says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will have eternal life. God like I said earlier, he wants an up-close and personal relationship with you, friend. He is calling you, and I feel this very strongly. He is calling you. The call is to get vertical, get saved. Again, the call is to get vertical and get saved. You may ask, well, what do I do? to restore this vertical? And that's a very good question. And I'm happy to tell you that it's as easy as A, B, C. First, you must accept that you are a sinner. Then, B is to believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of the living God, that he died and he rose again on the third day. Then, C is to confess. Confess Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life and commit to living a life for him 
and serving others. You see, Romans 10, 9 and 10 tells us that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with his heart resulting in righteousness and with the mouth confession is made resulting in salvation. <laughs> Friend, anyone, anyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I don't care what it is you've done. You may feel that you've gone way too far, but you're not far so far that God can't reach you. Friend, hear the call to get vertical, get saved. If you feel that call, I want you to pray this. Pray this prayer with me. It's very simple. Dear Lord, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come in to my heart and live. I want to trust and follow you Lord, as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Friend, if you said that prayer, welcome. Welcome to the family of God. I'm so excited for all the wonderful things that God has in store for us as we continue to journey on this road to healing. So until next time, be strengthened, be encouraged, be healed, and boldly go. God bless you.